Now, this is um, this is question number four. All right. So the first thing I told you guys, when you have a compound inequality and it's separated, Jeff, when you have a compound inequality, inequality and it's separated, the first thing you want to do is just make sure you solve them separately. So what I'm going to do here, I need to solve my m. So I subtract a 7 on both sides. m is greater than negative 5. And here to solve for m, I subtract 1. m is less than 1. OK? Now, the next thing we need to understand, yes, that's right. They need to be paying attention here as you do too. <laughs> so what, they need, what you guys need to understand with an and is the and statement, like we talked about Venn diagrams, is when two thing when your two sets are connected or are not connected but intersect. So we're not going to graph all of a or all of one inequality and all of the other inequality. We're only going to graph where they intersect. So how do we know when they intersect? Well, we can do this a couple ways. One way we can do this is first of all I need to graph. I need to have a number line that's going to support both of these inequalities. So I go to zero. Let's say that's one, two, three. That's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Okay. So, I make a circle at both of them, right? And if we look at this, since they're both greater than or less than, they're not greater than or equal to? Since they're not less than or greater than... <laughs> Since they're both um, less than or greater than, and they're not less than or greater or equal to, we're not going to fill them in, right? They remain the same. So um, now what we need to do is just determine what do their graphs look like. M means the values that are greater than negative 5. So where are the values greater than negative 5? Are those going in that direction, or are the numbers going in this direction? Which direction? <laughs> are these numbers? Yeah. <laughs> well, guys. What would be the next number? Negative 6, negative 7. As I'm going this way, are my numbers getting larger or smaller? They're getting smaller because they're more in the negative direction. So therefore, the numbers that are greater than negative 5, I would graph that looks like this. Right? My graph would be here going all the way over there. Then I look at here. It says m is less than 1. So what are the numbers that are less than 1? Is that going to be the numbers going to the right or the numbers going to the left? And it's the numbers going to the left, right? So that graph would go this way. So where is it these two graphs intersect, right? Remember, this is an and statement. So when you're looking at the Venn diagrams, you're looking at the and, where they intersect. So the intersection is between the two dots. So when I'm going to graph this, I'm only going to graph where they intersect, which is between the two dots. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you do the same thing when it's an or? No. Remember, or, well, I'm going to show a video on or, but I already did do an or one. But remember, or is them separately. It could also possibly be when they intersect, but you have to graph them to see it and when that works. Okay? But an or is either one inequality or the other inequality or both when they intersect. But you should always know whenever I'm saying and, that only talks about where they intersect. Okay?